Welcome to the Masay edition of the Short Vort. In this week's Parsha we have Moshe, where it says, Vayichtov Moshe es Motzeehem lemasehem, and Moshe wrote their going forths for their journeys, journeys, al pi Hashem, according to the word of Hashem, ve'el lemasehem lemotzeehem, and these are their journeys according to the going forth. So the question that's commonly asked is, why at the beginning does it say, first Motzeehem and then Masehem, and then later on it says Masehem, then Motzeehem. Why does it change the language of the sequence of these two words? So the Dubna Magid naturally uses a mushal to explain this. Once there was a young boy who uh, lost his mother, and uh, his father remarried to a woman, and as is often the case, they did not get along, and uh, he had a very terrible childhood, and even in teenage years, and as he got older, he was having a miserable experience. So when the time came, his father went out and traveled and he found a wife for his son. And he even came back and he had a wedding date. And as the wedding date uh, got closer, he and his son, they piled in all his clothing, all his goods, his baggages, they put it on the wagon, they hired a wagon driver, and they went on the way. As they were going away, the uh, son would ask, how far are we from the city that we left? How far are we from the city that we left? And the wagon driver would answer how far uh, the distance had grown. At the same time, the father would ask, how far till the city that we're going to? How far away is that? And the uh, wagon driver would give him the distance for that answer too. So why is it that these two people were asking this question of how far till we get away from this place? How far till we get to this place? What was the difference? So the answer the Dibna Market says is, is perspective. The young son, all he knew was the bad experience that he wanted to get away from, that he wanted to leave the uh, house where his stepmother was. He didn't know about what the quality of the girl was. He had never seen her. So his focus was, how far away have I gotten? It wasn't where he was getting to. But the father, well, he knew how much his son had suffered uh, at the loss of his mother, but he knew what a wonderful girl, a wonderful family, and how wonderful life would be once he got married. So his focus was not on getting away from his hometown, but getting to the place where the marriage would be. So the same thing applies to the Bnei Yisrael and Moshe Rabbeinu. They had different perspectives. The Bnei Yisrael, uh, they had suffered terribly in the Gullus and Mitzrayim. So they just wanted to get away from Egypt. That's all that counted. How far are we from Egypt? And, uh, but they didn't know about what Eretz Yisrael, they didn't know about Kedusha, they didn't know about Torah, so they didn't know how to focus on the future. So therefore, Masehem the Motzehem. They're going out just like the young boy was focused on getting away, going out and traveling that way from where they had been. While Moshe Rabbeinu, he knew what Kedusha of Eretz Yisrael is, he knew the Kedusha of the Torah and the greatness of the Torah, therefore his focus was how to get there. The whole going out, the Motzehem, was the Masehem to make the journey to go to Eretz Yisrael. May we be successful to leave the places that we don't want to be and to get to the places that we do want to be. Have a wonderful Shabbos and a wonderful week, and thank you.